Uh, today is the day that we find out the ultimate truth. Is this boat worth saving? Uh, so yeah, I'm a little bit apprehensive about what today has to hold, but we just got to face it head on and see see what it gives us. So Priscilla's just gone quickly with, to drop the van and figure out the last logistics. And then when she gets back, we're gonna make our way down under this bridge just to the uh, left-hand side, uh, port side. And yeah, the moment of truth. So wish us luck. This is Chris. I'm Priscilla. Joining us is Bali, our sausage. And this is our home in the making. Thanks for watching and welcome aboard. Well, it's a good morning this morning. Or should I say, it's a terrible start to the day. No, it's not. We're going fishing. <laughs> <laughs> Christopher comes running back to me. I'm literally at the boatyard waiting patiently for him to arrive. And all of a sudden he starts walking back to me and he says, I have fun. Very casually, actually. I was like, do you fancy a bit of fishing today? I have dropped the car keys in the canal. Marvelous stuff, I say. So, All right, so we're going fishing. We're armed with a magnet and a piece of string. Let's see if we can get these bad boys out of the water. When I was trying to start the engine, um, the keys were in my pocket and trying to start the engine that sort of fell out. So it's probably in this general area and I've put this stick in so it comes up to about here. So it's not too deep in this part. I'm hoping because we have so much key rings and junk on our set of keys able to at least pick it up. Oh yeah! <laughs> that wasn't too bad. <laughs> like, let's see your first go. Oh, okay. a couple seconds, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. My heart is, is just about to drop out of my body. That is relief. I'm so relieved, honestly. Jeez, like, I was like, Shit, must I jump in the water now? It's freezing. <laughs> anyway, we have them. Okay, good. Give right, them to you me. You take them. Yeah. Cool. So we are just outside the boat yard. Um, we're just waiting for the one boat to come out. And then we can make our merry way into the dock. But it's not a good start this morning, so I'm hoping that it ends a little better than how it's began. And just like that, we hit our first hurdle. We were just slightly too long to get ourselves into the dock.
I can start seeing the beams in the bottom of the water. So it's busy draining now, but um, I'm starting to see the beams, which means we're getting close to the bottom. So I'm just gonna show you quick. And without wasting any time, we got straight to work. So we're just waiting now for the final bit of water to clear out, which I think probably take another half an hour or so. Um, I'm not 100% sure how deep it is, whether they have two on top of each other or just the one. Um, so yeah. Taking off the windows and waiting for it to get dry so we can get cracking. Alright guys, so they've finally got the dry dock dry-ish, the water's out, and we're just about to head down. I've finished pressure washing the top and the sides and the inside, so now we're going to head down and see what's happening underneath the boat. At least we have our piping system in, you know, plumbed in already. Alrighty. See the fish. Wait. Yeah, there's so many. Oh, shit, fishy! Grab him. It's a slippery sucker. No, don't go down there. Don't go down there. Oh, oh. There's some dude. Like that. Here's a gotcha. Alright, throw him over there. Where do you throw it? Over there, under the wall. Oh, oh. Save the fish. <laughs> All right, where do you want to begin? So we have to get this pressure washed and sprayed and scraped. Yeah, and then we can see what's going on. Um, yeah, so this is our problem area here. Let's see if we can get this one to clear out. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah, I think we just uh, pressure wash this down now and see what it really looks like. Because at the moment it's a little bit dirty and a little bit rusty and a little bit muddy. So we just give it a go. Um, we can get a better understanding of it. But honestly, the boat does float. So that's a good sign. You're halfway there. <laughs> I don't know what was in there.
So before it all disappears, I um, quickly want to show you the before, uh, like a nice close up and then what it looks like on the other side. So the back piece is what we have left, if you come closer you can see all the that stuff. <laughs> going to come off. Um, so that's nice and thick on there. So that's what the before looks like. And then this man's already done the after. So he's already sprayed his side down and you can see there's no like pieces. It's smooth. So we're quickly going to do the last bit um, on the outside and I think it's taken us a total of, what did you say, about two hours? Two, three hours. Yeah. Okay, so let's call it three hours because we initially started with our pressure washer and we were like, this is going to take forever. So we're using the pressure washer at the brickyard, which is saving us so much time. a week instead of a day. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you carry on. Um, while Christopher's doing that, I'm actually doing stuff on the inside, so we're multitasking. Um, I'm trying to drain and clean after we've pressure washed on the inside, I'm trying to drain and clean it, so that's my job, but you carry on. quite nicely um, so this is like basically about five minutes obviously I have a little bit more here to put it off but I wanted to just take a moment so I can show you on the camera the difference wow. that side had big clumps like this all stuck oh to it so it all came off okay so so all this like just broke away and came off is still on here. The grey is obviously where bits have come off but all of this you can't really see with the camera probably but it's still black so that's the original anti um, so That's good because then it's been it like... It's actually bonded on pretty well. Yeah. For the amount of time this boat sat in the water um, it's quite remarkable that it's actually still looks this good you know and if you come to the front I'll show you exactly what I mean. So you've done this whole section. I've done this whole section. Maybe it's better, you can see a bit better on that side with the light. Okay. Um, I've done all the whole section. Even here you can see like uh, all the original anti-fouling. And if here you'll see all the build-up. So this is all going to come off. So there's the line. Before and after really. After? And before. After and level. Yeah. Alright, let me Uh, so I've got a bit left in the front and tackle that a little bit at the back and then we should be good. 